Okay, hello. Uh, for this video, you'll need a pen or a pencil, a ruler, and a calculator. So we're focusing in on percentage change, and the equation that you need to know and memorize is percentage change is equal to the change divided by the original times by 100. So percentage change equals the change divided by the original times by 100. So what do we mean? So when we're talking about percentage change, it can be a percentage increase or it could be a percentage decrease. Both of those are percentage changes. So if the question says calculate the percentage increase, it's a percentage change. If it says calculate the percentage decrease, it's a percentage change. When we're talking about the original number, we mean the start number, the number that we start with. And that'll make more sense when we look at a few examples. So let's do that. Let's have a look at a few examples and see how we can apply this, this equation of percentage change equals the change divided by the original multiplied by 100. So here's our first example. In January, Dylan worked a total of 35 hours. In February, he worked 45.5 hours. By what percentage did Dylan's working hours increase in February? So let's have a look at how we can calculate that. Okay, so start with what's example number one. Let's put our equation down first. Percentage change equals the change divided by the original or start number times by 100. So our change is equal to, so in January, Dylan worked a total of 35 hours. In February, he worked 45.5 hours. So if we take the small number from the big number, 45.5 take away 35, that will give us our change. 45.5 take away 35. So the change is 10.5. We can now put that into our equation. Percentage change equals 10.5 divided by our original number or our start number, which in this case is 35 times by 100. Put that into our calculator. So 10.5 divided by 35. Make sure you press equals before you multiply by 100 times 100 gives you 30 percent and there is your answer okay so let's have a look at a second worked example so there were 160 smarters in the box yesterday but now there are only 116 what is the percentage change so you'll notice this time it's a percentage it's a decrease, isn't it, this time? But it doesn't matter. We still use the same equation. So let's have a look at how we can how we can do this one. Okay, so the second what's example, let's identify the key key numbers. There were 160 smarties in the box yesterday. Now there are 116. What is the percentage change? So the equation for percentage change, percentage change is equal to the change divided by the original or the start number times by 100. So the change in this case, change in the number of smarties is 160, big number, take away the small number. 116, so 160 minus 116 is equal to 44. And then I can put that into my equation as the change number. So percentage change equals change is 44 divided by the original are the start number. So the start number in this case was 160. 
that's the number of smarters I started with, times by 100. So put that into your calculator. So 44 divided by 160, remember to press equals, then times by 100, that gives you a decrease, because it's gone down, of 27.5%, or you could write it as minus 27.5%. Okay, and a third and final example. So on average, a newborn elephant weighs 120 kilograms, Fully grown elephants can weigh 5,400 kilograms. What is the percentage change in the, in the weight? So again, let's have a look at this. Okay, so the equation, percentage change is equal to the change divided by the original the start number times by 100 drill it into your head on average a newborn elephant weighs 120 kilograms fully grown elephants weigh 5400 kilograms what is the percentage change okay so i want to work out the difference or the change first of all so the change equals 5400 take away 120, big number, take away the small number. 5400, take away 120. So the change is 5280. So I put that into my equation. So percentage change equals change, it's 5280 divided by the original number. So the original number of the start number is 120 times by 100. Just put that into my calculator. So 5280 divided by 120, press equals, and then times by 100 equals 4,400 percent do not panic some people will look at that number and automatically think that's the wrong answer because it's bigger than 100 but you can have bigger than 100 when it comes to percentage increase or decrease okay so 10 questions to have a go at pause the video and have a go at these questions yourself and then in five seconds, the answers will appear. So pause the video now. So here are the answers. How did you get on? Um, mark them. If you're struggling, go back and look at the worked examples again and see where you were making your mistake. So what would this look like in an exam then? Because it probably wouldn't be as simple questions as the 10 that you've just done. Well, here is... Uh, an example of an, an exam question, which is a percentage change question. So let's see how we can do this one. Okay, so here's an example of a, an exam question. Uh, there's a percentage increase. So at the start of the experiment, the model cell weighed 25 grams. And at the end, it weighed 30 grams. So just do it exactly the same as you've done the other examples. So percentage change equals change divided by the original times by 100 change is equal to big number take away the small number 30 take away 25 which equals 5 put that into our equation so percentage change is equal to the change which we're saying is 5 divided by the original number. So the original number at the start was a 25. And put that into my equation. 
So we'll put that into the calculator. Five divided by 25, press equals, times by 100, is equal to 20 percent. So C would be the correct answer. Okay, here's another example. How would we go about doing, doing this one? So pause the video, read through the question, have a go at it yourself, and then have a look at the, the worked example on the next, uh, the next screen. Okay, another exam question. So again, hidden away in quite a lot of writing is a percentage increase question. So if we read it, DDT can be sprayed onto crops to kill insects. It can be washed off uh, the crops by rainwater and flow into rivers where it accumulates in food chains. A typical freshwater food chain and the concentration of DVT in each organism is shown below. Food chain and DVT concentration. The percentage increase in DVT concentration between the trout and the osprey. So we're highlighting the bits. So basically we're going from five to 20. We're looking for the percentage increase between five and 20. So our equation, go back to the basics. Percentage change equals the change divided by the original times by 100. So our change is equal to the big number, take away the small number. We'll use a calculator for this one. Then put that into your equation. Percentage change equals 15 divided by our original or our start number, which is five times by 100. And to our calculator, so 15 divided by five, nope, 15 divided by five, make sure you press equals, then times by 100. 300%, don't panic. You can have bigger than 100% increase. And actually that's one of our answers. So C would be the correct answer. Okay, so let's have a look at another example. Pause the video, have a go at it yourself. See if you can do it yourself. Again, it's a percentage increase question. Uh, and then we'll show you how to do it. This one's a little bit trickier because it's it's combining two skills. You, it's combining the percentage uh, change, the percentage increase, uh, which we can see from, from the question. It's also combining that with uh, graph reading skills. So the question says, the following graph shows changes in wheat yield over a 50 year period. The percentage increase in wheat yield from 1950 to 2000 so it's important that you read the question carefully. So it's wheat yield that we're looking for. There's the wheat yield, 1950 to 2000. So we need to read off, so if I use my ruler to get it accurate, so that's two for 1950 and at 2000, that's the, the wheat yield is seven. So those are the two numbers that we're gonna be working with to look at a percentage increase. So our equation, percentage increase is equal to the change divided by the original ridge in all times by 100. So that equals the change, which is seven take away two, that gives me five. The original number is two times by 100, put that into my calculator, 5 divided by 2 equals, times by 100, 250% increase, remember you can have bigger than 100% increase, so C would be the correct answer. 